on this week's episode of Bungalow and the Bus. We are hanging out at Dead Words Brewery. Eating pretzels and touching butts. Welcome to Bungalower and the Bus. I am the Bus, John Bustegger. And I'm taking a year for myself every year. <laughs> Brendan O'Connor from Bungalower.com. Brendan, uh, this is our first time we've ever actually recorded this with video. So if you're listening, you can actually watch our video, too. We're recording right now here at uh, Dead Words Brewing. And I apologize that I'm not as handsome as I've led you to believe. <laughs> <laughs> People All know what along. you look like, right? I don't know. Sometimes I think they're always surprised when I see them in person. They're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot like. of face. Why do you want me to hide my husband from that? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's episode, we're hanging out over at Dead Words Brewing over on Orange Blossom Trail. If you've never been before, now's the time. It really is. This is such a cool place. Yeah. And I actually, uh, my birthday's coming up, Brendan. Uh -huh. Did you know that? I did know that because I was just here for a party. It, my, it was my party. And yes, you were a little drunk, though. I had a, I well, you got here a little late. I wasn't <laughs> drunk when I got here. <laughs> How dare you? And I wasn't drunk. I, I would say I was tipsy. Uh huh. I was at a media event that night. But okay. Yeah, so you celebrated your birthday here. That's surprise how much surprise party. As a matter of fact, my wife uh, invited all my friends, both of them. Uh huh. And no, I have more were than you two sad? friends. Were no. you sad when you didn't see me here. I looked you around. I'm like, oh, Brendan. But where is Brendan? Brendan didn't show up. I guess is this isn't a thought? party. Did you ask? I did look around. I didn't ask, but I did look <laughs> around. Like, oh, well, maybe he's busy tonight. It's uh, okay. And I was. I was at the cocktails and screams, and the op I went to the one up, one yes. up Orlando, the arcade place. How was that? Up. Really cool. We have videos up on Instagram if you want to check it out. I'd never been to cocktails. And that was super fun. But it's the same owners. They, ha they had joysticks back in the day. And they kind of hauled us between uh, spots. And they are they next door to each other? One up and Cocktails and Screams? Or close? No, are they close? Like uh, another block over. I can walk there if I have to. You could. We took a shortcut. They tried to walk everybody around on Gertrude's. And uh -huh. I was like, nah, we'll take that alleyway that's behind Orlando Weekly. Where and Orlando then Weekly's somebody speak. kidnapped you. <laughs> it feels <laughs> like it. And it just reeks of urine. Ah. Yeah. But it felt like I was more in the city. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. All Oh, well, that's cool. No, but I had yeah. my 40th birthday party here, although I'm not 40 yet, not till October 12th. So that was just the first day of my, my birthday parties. Because you're I, a Libra. I am. I had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but we're back here tonight hanging out, having some German charcuterie. This is part of our ongoing uh, three-month residency that we've been doing here. I think we have one more month, right? Sure. Yeah, November. Yeah, we did one last month. We're back this month. We come the first, the first Thursday of the month. We'll do it here. So we'll be back in November. Um, my birthday's coming up, too. I know. End of the month. October Halloween. 31st. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. That's exciting. Uh huh. What are you going to do? You're turning 40. I don't know. You don't know yet? Probably hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel. I, do you feel 40? Uh, not really. No. I mean, I don't think so. Do you think that's why you do so much stuff? I've been doing a lot of stuff <laughs> lately. I went fencing this week. I know. Yeah. Which I've done before. You, you should were, come fencing. Were you good? Uh, I mean, I, I was. there was a bunch of little kids. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there no was adults? a lot of little kids. There was a few adults. Yeah, okay. yeah. Were they really good? Uh, I mean, they were all right. I mean, I don't really know a good... I mean, they weren't like Your wife got you time. a lesson, right? Yeah, that, I've talked about it before. I've like, I've always wanted to go fencing. And then she actually got me a lesson. And okay. It's, it's, at the College Park Rec Center, they I have do to it. Say, for your wife, who's traditionally not great at presents, and she says that great, herself. That's a great present. Yeah, no, totally. And so, College Park Rec Center every Monday and Wednesday is ten bucks. I think it's ten bucks, uh, and you just show up and and if you, I knew nothing about fencing, Brendan, except like what it kind of looks like, and they taught me the basics, and I started doing it. I uh, I used to do it in summer camp. Yeah, yeah, and loved it. It was fun. It's like. They did it for like stage combat stuff. Oh, but I was pretty good at it. We got long arms, you and yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was. I had an advantage over some of these little kids. <laughs> <laughs> they put you up against kids. Well, we were practicing. They were actually some of them were really good. It was funny. This uh, young woman, she was like, I, I was like her partner, uh -huh. and she like was 
very direct. She was probably, if I had to guess, she was probably 14 or 15. Okay. Very direct as a 14, 15-year-old. And I was, like, messing up, and she's like, you're doing it wrong. Oh. She's like, you need to do this, and you need to stand this way. And not, like, being mean about it, but just, like, direct about it. Maybe a little on the spectrum? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But she was she was very nice, and I thanked her afterwards, and she, and she thanked me. So it was fun. It was, okay. it was a lot of fun. It's probably good for her self-esteem to beat up an old man, you know? Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good though. I had I had a really good time. What are you gonna do on your actual birthday? I will be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, so strippers, <laughs> right? I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we're actually flying to Las Vegas that day, so we probably won't get in until a little later. Do you ever go to strippers? Have I in my life? No, but like, do you like on a regular yeah. basis? No, no. I don't. I don't like, like giving people money. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty cheap. Uh huh. And just giving people money is just. But you're not giving. Like they gotta earn it. I guess by but making I'm still it clap, giving it to yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you? Oh, uh, you, oh, I you went it. to the strip club. It's why recently. I'll always be poor because every uh-huh. time I have money, I just give it all away. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I need that hand carved slingshot. That they're selling <laughs> at a, like, and I've never what are you, used Bart it. Simpson. I, I mean, <laughs> or like Dennis the Menace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but yeah. Otherwise, we made it through the storm. Yeah. Your house is okay. Okay. I had to work two days straight. I slept at the office, but... With your dogs? With my dogs. Were they okay? They were. They were good. Everybody loved them, too. All right. Yeah. Well, you got some nice dogs. I do. I did, do. did other people have dogs there, too? A few other people did, too. Yeah. The, they, they allowed people that had to work 24-hour shifts or 12-hour shifts. They could bring their dogs with them. Do you get overtime when you're sleeping over like I'm, that? I'm, I'm salary, so oh, okay. it doesn't work like that. Really? We'll it all washes out in the end. I got to say, even in Canada, when you're on salary, there's still like a max to a, the amount oh. of hours you're allowed to work yeah. before you like overtime kicks in. Yeah, you know, I work. I, 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 I went for a run every now and then in the gym. I'd come back and work. It's fine. Uh, before we get too into this, I got to say uh, we're here also at side, uh, Dead Words Brewing because they have an Oktoberfest happening this weekend. Yeah. And uh, it's Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And they've got a whole bunch of different deals. Like they're doing a full liter Stein of Oktoberfest beer, and you can get a special pretzel, and you can keep the Stein just for thirty-five bucks. Um, they have like a really cool charcuterie board, which you'll see on our Instagram. We took a bunch of photos. They got they got meat and sauerkraut and pretzel and yeah. cheese and and pickles. It's and gonna have a brat on it for the actual day. We didn't have the brat today just because we we're a little early. But we had, so they do like a great smoked sausage here, and there's nothing I like more than smoking a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's all delicious. So check that out over on our Instagram, so we'll tell you more about it there. Okay. Um, my hurricane, it was crazy. Yeah. I just smoked a lot of weed. <laughs> but Before, then Before, after, during? All during, because I, I just try not to, just in case I needed to, like, leap up and be prepared. Yeah, yeah. And I had a little to-go bag. Like, I put my <laughs> laptop in it. Like, all my, like, things that I need, you mm-hmm. know? Passport. Like, and just in case. Because we're in an old house. I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah. I might get blown away. I've seen Wizard of Oz. Yeah, right? <laughs> and I'm quite the witch. Uh, so. I've seen you in a gingham dress. So. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You did see it? <laughs> I saw photos. Oh, okay. I was cute. Um, and then I, we noticed, like, I just kept getting tagged in these cool videos, like, of what was happening to people, like, their experience during the storm. And it just kind of took on a life of its own. And so that's what I did all night. Like, I slept in the bathroom. Scotty could care less. He was in the bed like a normal person. Like, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die in bed <laughs> like a civilized man. And I was, like, curled up in a little nest in the bathroom. So you were watching other people's hurricane experiences? Watching their, yeah. And then I would... Did you do your own? No. Well, like, you got to contribute, man. No, nobody... I didn't need to because we we got 7,000 more followers on our Instagram wow. during the storm. Just wow. because people were following all these videos. Nothing better to do. No, no, except see what's happening. Mm-hmm. And then it followed into the days after of, like... Where are the street closures? What's flooded? And then we had tons of people following there. Like those guys, those, do you see those kids who were swimming in Lake Eola? I did see the photos of that. And, uh, don't did you do see that. the video we did? I, I don't, I don't think I saw the video. Oh, wait, they were jumping. They were jumping. John, in the lake. you gotta see it. Okay. So, so there's one segment. The first one I saw was like from a parking garage, the top of a parking garage. And there were just two figures swimming in the lake out towards the fountain. 
and it kind of looked like romantic. Okay. To be honest, uh-huh. like it was very cinematic. I could tell, like it was just, it must have been so invigorating and like adrenaline filled. And then I'm like, it's full of poop. Yeah, full of poop. It was full of poop before. And that's and just now one thing. That's it's in runoff, there. and. Then they got up on the fountain, and you're traditionally, like, you can't even go near the fountain. No, not even in a swan boat. No, because there are intake pipes underneath the fountain that could suck you up just like that guy in Willy Wonka. Oh, oh, you know? Gustav. Gustav. <laughs> Don't be a Gustav. So those kids could have died. They were lucky that the water was so high that it must have just, like, cut down on that the uh, the pole. But the fountain was on all through that. Wow. Just pumping that water out. And those kids got in trouble. They the cops sure did. showed up. They sure did. Maybe because our video was yeah, crazy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but lots of people were posting about them. Yeah. Uh, Can't do that. I mean, it's illegal to swim in Lake Eola in the first place. It's really actually against code to swim in any city lakes. Okay. Well, they don't like, enforce all those. They don't really. <laughs> but Lake Eola. Probably not that. That's probably not a good one to swim in. No. Plus, you don't even know what's in there. Not even like the fecal matter. But like chemicals the, well, after chemicals. a storm like plus, this, plus animal like wildlife. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've seen the videos of like just alligators in neighborhoods. Yeah, swimming we've by seen houses. Them. Somebody shared. Uh, Josh Wilson he used to be with Wesh, uh-huh. right? Shared a photo of a gar. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Just stuck in a chain link yeah. fence. That was in Orla Vista where I was, like rescuing people. I wow. wasn't rescuing people. I was with the the people that were like rescuing as long people. as my leg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. just. But like that's just looking one like thing. a barracuda. Uh huh. And actually, somebody told me this. I didn't even think about this. So, uh, you think about how deep the water was in some of those uh, streets, and people would walk through them. They would swim through them. They'd be up to their waist in water. The Gross. problem is, if there was like a manhole cover that fell off, you could have fallen you would, right you in. You would never know, and you would fall right into the the sewer. And it could be sucking you in. Oh, gross. People step on uh, live wires all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very dangerous. Most people, I mean, I've said this before. I might have said it in the last uh-huh. episode. At least in Central Florida, when people die from hurricanes, it's generally after the hurricane because they they get electrocuted, or they have a heart attack because they are doing yard work that they haven't done in ten years, and so it's generally after. I made sure Scotty didn't do it because he was just in the hospital. Right? Uh, Cause, yeah, yeah, because of his ticker, so he wasn't allowed to really do anything afterwards. But we didn't have much damage. Us either. We got some data. There was, um, yeah, they had a huge increase at the local hospitals in certain types of injuries, like cuts and scrapes, a twenty percent increase in tetanus shots, which means people were stepping on old rusty oh. nails and things, or. Bumping up against, you know, like rusty metal, who knows? Sprains, strains. I want to say sprains, strains, and audible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, animal bites from interactions with stressed pets and did, displaced wildlife. Did you see that photo that I think it was a reporter from Channel 6 posted? It was a blob of fire ants. And they yeah. had all, like, made a mound, like an they're island. Called, they're called rafts. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he, there was a photo of one somewhere. I think it was up in DeLand or something or Osceola. I don't remember. But it was like, that's for real. Like, like you can step on that yeah. if you're out there. Because they, instead of just, like, giving up the ghost when their <laughs> colonies get flooded, they all kind of hold on to each other. And they have air pockets or it's, like, ah. a hair or something holds air. And they just float to the top. That's awesome. So it's this giant living raft of Bites oh. and poison just yeah. floating around, and that's another reason you shouldn't go in those floodwaters. No, because you, if you, if one of those hit you, you you because they'll think that you're like a tree or something. They'll, they'll just start climbing jump up on, on you, you. Yeah. and biting on you. I know some of the deputies at the Orange County Sheriff's Ugh. Office. They went into some houses to get people out that their houses were flooded, so they needed rescuing. Oh, no, and they said there were. There were just like ants and snails and bugs all crawling up the wall because it was the only place they could find in the house that was dry. Ugh. Oh, it's so gross. So gross. It sounds yeah. like a witch curse or something, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. That's a witch's house for sure. Don't uh-huh. go in there. Anyway. Some well, of these you things. and I are good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, th- thank whatever, you know, mm-hmm. McWitch to the great spirit for keeping us safe. Yeah, you know? we're safe. Uh, Citizens Property Insurance is claiming $2.6 billion in losses. That's just like and one that's insurance just company. And I guess they're thinking it'll be $40 billion in losses. Total. Total. Yeah. Of all insurance or I just guess, the one? No, all of them. Okay, Florida. yeah. I think it was 40 or 50. They don't even know yet. 
They I don't mean, even know. You've seen the photos from Fort Myers in, Sar- in Santa Bella. I, it looks- I would even think that like some of those mansions, like what's that going to cost to build one of those mansions? So much. A billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know either. To replace that, what's it going to be? And then half, half these people didn't even have flood insurance. No, because they didn't have to. No. Do you have flood insurance? Do you think it's covered in your renter's insurance? Because I don't. I don't think we it's have flood not, insurance. I guess it's. I guess flood ins- floods are not covered in rent insurance. No, I don't think so. Renter's insurance. Uh-uh. Yeah, no. But like, if you get water damage to your belongings, like from a burst pipe or something, that is covered. Oh, okay. So like, just if be like flood, the, the, just go the bust the pipe, pipe. Yeah. before the hurricane, <laughs> or at the same time. Yeah. What are they going to say then? But that's you know. Because of that, like these interest rates are going to spike like crazy. Yeah. We're trying to buy the house again. Like we've been trying to do this for five months. Um, and it's not that we don't have money for it. It's just that it's it's a very strict program. But now the insurance rates are about to jump up. Yeah, in. they are. And we were trying to get we were almost ready to go. And we had an insurance plan that would have worked. But then there was a moratorium put on the whole state of florida yeah, nobody wants to insure you before a hurricane no yeah they want to find out if your house is gonna yeah. still be there and we have the original roof yeah and polybutylene pipes which oh. are the ones that burst oh i know it's a, just the house that keeps on giving really yeah. <laughs> and these are these are all the issues that could have maybe been solved these last few years instead of worrying about what books kids are going to read Imagine. Imagine if you worried about insurance that affects every uh-huh. Floridian. And now we're all sucking on the socialist teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all get, all get these folks are going to have to go through FEMA now. A lot of well, them are. And some Which of these, is what it's for. That's what FEMA is for. It is. And actually, if you, don't, if you don't have flood insurance, you can go to disasterassistance.gov and you can fill out a little survey and it will tell you about what assistance programs are out there that can help you rebuild after this disaster. All right. Yeah, it's super brutal. And then these these businesses, I'll let, can we talk a little bit more about Hurricane or is yeah. this too much? Um, the wake zones, these no wake zones. So we shared a video of this like, it was almost like an off-road dune buggy golf cart uh, thing okay. going through like Lake Cherokee, Lake Davis area. And apparently the kids that were driving it were just causing trouble. They I, I believe it. Doing, you know, little loop-de-loops and sending Wheelies? waves everywhere because it's fun. Uh-huh. And then the people would come out. These people who like where the floodwaters hadn't reached inside their house. But the minute they, these cars started like disaster tourism driving through these neighborhoods it sent the water right back into their homes oh, yeah. it's right the same with like big trucks that are just driving yeah. through neighborhoods because they can because they can mm-hmm. and then so we shared a video of people who are yelling at this golf cart please stop you're flooding our house it's happening you've already been through here uh-huh please go away and they were just like <laughs> and just went anyway oh, so we shared the video and we we're like don't do this it's not cool like you don't need to be there every Everyone's already stressed out. Someone's going to get shot. Like, just like, don't do this. Yeah. And uh, people were like, they, no, we don't. Nobody owns the street. You can't tell oh, me what on. to do with yes, my truck. Can. And then it was the <laughs> same arguments with Orange Avenue with all of those like hammered land, which was completely flooded. Uh-huh. Our friends at Maffrey's. They got a little goods. flooded. Yeah. I don't, well, I don't think it was completely flooded there, well, but it, was, were it was flooded. They were fine until people started driving their trucks through the big puddle. Yeah. Right. They're all like, oh, let's go jump in that puddle. There were people wakeboarding down Orange Avenue. Oh, my gosh. And just flooding, like really damaging these businesses. They were going around traffic cones trying to go do it because it was fun. So, like, two things. Why weren't there barricades put out sooner? I know it's, like, a million things to do, and, yeah. and this flooding hadn't happened before. But, like, it probably took them four days to get out there with some, like, real barricades oh, really? to shut down Orange Avenue so people didn't couldn't drive through there anymore. Um, and then these businesses should have had sandbags, you know? like Yeah, but I had sandbags in my garage, and that didn't do nothing. Well, where's the water coming from for your garage? It's from the, the from the sky, where all the rest of the water yeah. is coming from. Because you have little holes in that, like they have no. those ventilation. No, things. it's just it it, it flooded. My, yeah, it flooded. But where does it flood from? From the driveway, it sloped down. Okay, yeah, into yeah. the door. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the I mean, you could put sandbags anywhere. It I doesn't mean it's going to totally stop the sandbags water. Sandbags and tarps and Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and then don't need. just drive in there. No, People I mean, were so driven <laughs> to go see all of these. Uh, disaster spots yeah 
Like we the the head the main image for this week's top ten things is this this influencer girl in a little bathing suit taking a picture of herself in the waters with her handsome Jason Momoa boyfriend just looking grumpy right next to her, <laughs> and it's just like, first of all, you're standing in. Poop. poop water right yeah with chemicals and gators uh-huh. and things you don't know like girl, yeah. you are nasty yeah and then secondly there are flooded homes right next to you mm-hmm. oh, and absolutely. you're gonna make it into a selfie and if moment? that and if that that young lady and, uh-huh. and the gentleman if they get somehow injured or swept away uh-huh. somebody has to go rescue them and so now you're taking it away from somebody who might actually need help where you put yourself in that situation. Citywide, all these frontline uh, workers are out there trying to help everybody. Oh yeah, and you yeah. got these weirdos going <laughs> out there in her cute little TikTok two piece trying to look cute <laughs> for likes. Like, huh, if I meet home. that girl, I can't wait to tell her. Okay. Like, I hope she got a yeast infection because <laughs> that's nasty. Um, we should take a break. Are we already ready for Let's a break? Let's take a little break. All right. I we're, got all that out. When we come good, back, I'm going to tell you about Lou Gardens. But we're hanging out here at Deadwoods Brewing, having some beers, eating some German charcuterie, I had getting it ready for yeah. Oktoberfest. This weekend. If you're injured on the go, brother, there's only one thing you need to know. Just call Mo. If you don't, start wiping away those tears because you'll be crying till the next century. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 M-O-E. Brendan, did you know that you and I wrote a book? I seem to recall. Yeah, and it's got a hundred things to do in Orlando before you die. Yes, it is a guidebook to all the fun things that you can do in Central Florida. Things you might not have heard of. Things that we might have been keeping secret just to put in this book. I'm going to tell one secret. Pinball Lounge. Ooh, we love the Pinball Lounge. Orlando Wetlands Park. That's two secrets. Yes. You got one more? Uh, Skydiving somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) Go to 100thingsorlando.com to get your copy signed today it's time for your weekly nzn update nzn is central florida's only full-time alternative cinema and home to the florida film festival it has an on-site bar a restaurant and tons of comfy couches and table service options to maximize your movie viewing experience screening this week is moon age daydream which looks at the life and genius of david bowie one of the most prolific and influential artists of our time and featuring never before seen footage performances and music also playing is the 22nd annual animation show of shows comprised of 10 films that deal with the anxiety and hopes of a world faced with a seemingly endless series of existential crises like the man who planted trees. Other films include Hexen, a silent film about the history of witchcraft, demonology, and Satanism, which screens on Saturday. The Return of the Living Dead is this weekend, too. Also, be sure to catch Queen of the Damned on October 11th and The Addams Family for free popcorn for the flicks and park blah, 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 blah on October 13th. Go to enzian.org today to check out their awesome lineup. Blah, 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 movies. Welcome back to Bungalower and the Bus. I am the Bus John Busdecker. And you may have seen me jumping around in the background of Sex of the City, Sarah Jessica Parkour, Brendan O'Connor from Bungalower.com. I like that. Is that your new drag name? <laughs> it should be. Sarah Jessica Parkour. Parkour. Do you ever say that to yourself? Have you seen that? Have I seen parkour? Well, there's a, there's a video <laughs> yeah. where these people just jump around. They're just like, like from chair to chair. Uh-huh. Like, parkour. <laughs> parkour. Yeah. Like if they were a Pokemon, they just say your name out loud all the time. Do people actually go out and do that? Like parkour? Or is it... Parkour? Or is it like a, a, a fading fad? I think... I think people still do okay. it. All right. French people. Oh, yeah. That's where it started, right? Yeah. Like in Paris? Yeah. Okay. Like urban exploring kind of stuff. It just seems like walking to me. <laughs> <laughs> jumping on things. Jumping on things. It's just jumping. and like, <laughs> It's like urban acrobatics. It's fun to watch, I guess, for a little bit. I don't want to do it. No. 
No, I don't have the knees. No. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think it's just the knees, to be honest with you. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Here on Bungalow in the Bus, we're talking about all the top headlines in Orlando's downtown bungalow neighborhoods. And we're we're at Deadwoods tonight. Yeah. Deadwoods Brewing. Westlake slash Dr- Paramore. Drinking some beers, having some German charcuterie. Oh, this is good. Big old, good. big old pretzel with all the meats That inside. charcuterie is, is going to sell like... Hot cake charcuteries. <laughs> uh, real good. There's things that it's a preview of things that you can get for their Oktoberfest celebration that's taking place this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Cool. If you've never been here, come to Deadwoods because every time I bring people here, they're like, oh, this place is awesome. Yeah. There's people, there's a bunch of uh, people playing board games together. It's like a board game get together. They all, they don't even know each other. They Some might. of them bring Some them. Of them might. I don't, well, I they think they know, do You now. don't know them. No. On Tuesdays, they play Dungeons & Dragons. You should come play. <laughs> you know what? They didn't invite you, though. I, no, did you notice that? <laughs> to play board games? Yeah, yeah. They're like, Brenda, no. come Well, on when I first walked in here, they were like, hello. Oh, I really? like, I oh like, they thought you were one of one them. One of them. One of <laughs> us. One of us. I would play Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, but don't you got to come back every week? You can't just play once. I think like, you can the just The campaign's going to last more than two hours. Let me, I don't know. If it's good, uh, maybe they'll just kill my character off. <laughs> Probably. Like, tell Brendan to go home. Have Let's you played before? I played once, one time. What were you? I don't remember. And we, we started, and then it never finished, and that was like four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we're still in the woods somewhere on a, oh. on a, on a carriage getting ready to attack. Get attacked by elves, or and then something. he never went back to play again. Uh, we're just on hiatus right now. That's a <laughs> four year yeah. hiatus. There's a group that's been playing Dungeons and Dragons for like forty years. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, they I just no matter it. what. And then there's like a celebrity match of. of oh really? Uh, yeah, like Joe Mangiello, Mangiello. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? I think so. He was in Magic Mike and All True right. Blood, and he's married to Sofia Vergara. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, it tells you how hot he is. <laughs> uh, but he made his whole basement into a Dungeons & Dragons thing. Oh, my thing. gosh. And he plays with, like, the producers from Game of Thrones. And anyway, we all don't right. talk about this guy. No. I just, all my nerds showing. Um, one last hurricane thing. Okay. Lou Gardens is closed f- for, it's going to be closed for a while. Oh. Like, the actual gardens part. They are getting, they're opening this week for a movie night. But they're not going to really let people in the gardens, gardens part, because uh, so many trees fell over really? in the hurricane. What movie are they showing? Ghostbusters. All right. The original right. one. I thought it would be some sort of hurricane twister Twister movie. would be it good. It would have been good. Yeah, we watched that the other day, my wife and I. Oh, really? Uh-huh, we did. It holds up. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. 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 The pop can. Uh, That's a little silly. I love that part. Yeah, yeah. They just made like 5,000 of them in 20 minutes before the hurricane tornado came by well all right how hard is that (laughs) (laughs) they should have thought of that beforehand maybe well they you know (laughs) they're millionaires Uh, spoiler alert too if you haven't seen it (laughs) uh the hagels are going to space again really remember this these are those the super rich people who are building the biggest house in in america and they live in winter park they do I can't remember. They're he builds, space he builds Walmarts. I Isn't that like what he, he does? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You can't go to space twice. Yeah, you can. If you pay for it, they're going with Blue Origin. They paid to go up in March. They're going to do it again. I didn't see the date when they're going up again. But this time, like, what did they, they have not a, see the first time? I don't know. I mean, you got the money. Do whatever you want with it. I, I guess. And they love space. Like, they have a oh, nonprofit that teaches kids about space. They do. They, I've met, I think I met her one time. She was very nice. I just, you don't hear about. To going up twice, though. I think they might be the first people to go up twice. Ah. Because it's like $100,000? Like, like citizen, re- regular citizens. Yeah, 100000 I think so, yeah. 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 But if you have millions, that's nothing. No, I would. You know, if I... What is the, What do you think that costs for them, like, like ratio-wise? Oh. What is a $100,000 expense to someone who's like a... Qu- like a, let's say you have let's say you have a hundred million dollars it's like it's like nothing it's right? just like nothing and plus what you make off that hundred million dollars in interest a year and loans and all that you can just pay for it god that's crazy yeah, yeah. this yeah, time it's they're not bringing, our world brendan no. nor ever will it be I, do you remember what her nonprofit's called i don't something about kids in space kids um. in space <laughs> uh she's gonna make a couple of them come and watch her and her husband go up into space 
which I thought was funny. Yeah. Like, Maybe bring one with you. I, <laughs> right? <laughs> or like, have like a pay contest. for another one to go. Why not have a contest? Oh, uh-huh, like, I like that. Like, how to clean up. If you can clean up the oceans, if you're thinking. They don't care about the oceans. The ocean, they care about space. Then we can, then I'll bring you to space. Uh-huh. Like, like a cool, like, philanthropic, make the world a better place space contest. I like it. Right? I like it. I don't know. I do too. I don't know if there's an age limit on the low end to go to space. Like, can you be 10 years old and go to space? I don't know. Probably like the suits not. suits probably aren't big enough, right? Well, it's like a radiation and they're not like, thing. But, but they're not like, like going to space. They're going to like the outer reaches of the atmosphere. The outer rim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why is it all so sexy? <laughs> and why do the space things look like big penises? Uh, I don't know. Can I say penis? I think you can. Yeah, yeah. Dong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the most aerodynamic way to get up into space. Is that? <laughs> but is that true, or is it just because a guy designed it? Possibly. Right? Uh-huh. Like skyscrapers. You know, like sometimes I see these skyscrapers, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Uh-huh. <laughs> are you kidding me with these architects? These developers are just building giant phalluses for themselves, <laughs> and it's all about who's got the biggest one. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. That's all I have to say. Dizzy Donuts opening up in College Park. Finally, get some donut shops in College Park. And it's led by Bruno Zucchini. Which is also opening up in College Park this week. His new Pizza Bruno. That one's not opening this week, though. The pizza, uh, the donut place. Pizza's opening this week. Uh I want to say Friday today if you're listening to this. It's already happened. It's right over by Graffiti Junction will be where the pizza... Where the donut shop is opening. Yeah. And just up the street in the old tin and taco space. It's like that's two doors. Pizza it's like two doors down. But it's not going to be as Neapolitan pizzas that he's known for. Jersey pizza. Yeah. Which means sauce on top. I'm happy with it. I don't care what he makes. I'll eat it. That seems like it could just spill everywhere. Though. No, it doesn't. Doesn't the cheese no. like hold things on? No, you can put sauce on top. That's how they do Detroit pizza. They do? Yeah. So yeah. what makes it Jersey then versus Detroit? I, I don't. I think thing? Jersey pizza is round. It's not square and deep and deep dish. Like, so. Come on, it's all made up. <laughs> can we just call it pizza? We can call it pizza. Saucy pizza. Okay. Saucy, saucy. pizza. That's a saucy pizza. <laughs> saucy. Can, can we go? When we go eat there, can I say that? Sure. I, I don't even know if they're going to invite us. Have some saucy pizza. <laughs> yeah, he's all like. Up Fias Karras' butt. <laughs> He's invited him and telling him all the secrets. I didn't even get a, hey, you, this sounds, is happening sounds message. Jelly. You jelly? You I'm a little, a little jelly. Okay. Yeah. And then Shirag, your friend with the fancy cars that invited well, us to his fancy car storage Shrug, Shrug bar Shrug office. Pizza Man USA, so... A little he eats pizza probably that. five times a week. Yeah, he's not media, though, and I'm friends with Bruno. Why can't I go? I don't know. Ask Bruno. If you're friends with him, ask him. If you're listening, Bruno, I want to know if it's because I wrote about you leaving Foxtail. <laughs> Send me a message. Okay. <laughs> and, and if that's the case, yeah. Brennan and I are not together in this. Wow. I will come to Bruno. He's going to throw me that. under the... <laughs> Under the triple doctor hey man, bus there. When it's his pizza, between you and his pizza, Typical I'm, taking, John, the, I'm throwing, taking the pizza. Throwing me under the bus. <laughs> you guys saw that. That sounds, that sounds really sexy, uh, too. Throwing you under the bus. <laughs> That's what your wife calls it when she wants me to babysit you. Take John out. She's throwing me under the bus. <laughs> Stemma, a craft coffee shop, is now open downtown. We talked about this before. It's the Bean to Table Ooh, I just Bean. saliva. Did oh, you spit. I did. All over you. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> Bean to cup. You had three tiny beers. Today. I did. <laughs> That's all it These took. beers are, are tiny. and he's <laughs> These are drunk. like Hobbit beers. Yeah. It's a Harfoot beer. Uh-huh. So wait, they're, they're growing the beans? Or they're, they, they're well, they own a, the beans? They, it's a, they've owned this farm for four generations in the mountains of Hinotega, Nicaragua. Oh, and so very good accent there. Thank you. I thought you were a native of Nicaragua. It's all the saliva in my uh-huh. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so they they own the farm four generations, grow the beans, and now they've opened this coffee shop in downtown Orlando of Sweet. all places. And so they're they're using the own family beans uh, to make the coffee. And the coffee shop is cussing beautiful. Really? Yeah, it's really. I haven't even been in there. I've just seen all the stuff on the socials. It Where's it at? Gorgeous. Where exactly is it? In the new building, I believe it's called M A A Robinson. I think it's at Robinson and Orange. All right. Where they're building all those big yeah. old towers. Yeah. Yeah. Go check that out. Paris Baguette opening in Winter Park. 
Uh, it's October 13th. It's opening up. And it's like a bakery slash cafe. And they're going to sell cakes by the slice, whole cakes, sandwiches, Moki donuts. Oh, you name it. Sounds a lot like uh, they got some competition. It sounds like they went through all of the desserts that were trending nearby uh-huh. and said, we can sell all these things. Wait, what's the place across the street? The dessert place. Oh, we're blind uh, on this? Gold glass knife? Glass knife, yeah. That's some competition. Which I like glass knife. I think everything in there is so crazy beautiful. Mm-hmm. Some of their stuff is just a little dry. Yeah? Don't you think? Uh, I mean, I've had. I've had a lot of things there. I really like it. I mean, I guess maybe not everything is like the most amazing thing I've ever had. Great coffee program. Good coffee. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, the guy who runs it, I don't know if he's still there. He had like a a coffee cart for a while. I did a video on him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice guy. No, he's not there anymore. Uh, He's a wine rep now. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. (laughs) So cute, that guy. Taste of College Park is taking place October 13th. You're going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. You're going to be a judge? I am. Oh, okay. And uh, I don't think I really had a choice. I learned <laughs> I was a judge on a press release before they even talked to me. Oh. And I sent them an email and said, hey, it'd be nice to get asked to do this first, but did, I happen to be free. <laughs> did you get it? Did you? Uh, did they email back? Yeah. They're like, oh, okay. oh yeah, well, that's great. Can't wait to see you there. It was all very like... <laughs> Old white man, muddy uh-huh. college park, right? Yeah. They're like, if, if we watch you there, you're going to come. You got to be there. Yeah. But I'm going, so who am I to say anything? <laughs> and I, I guess I'll just have to bring someone because it's on a Thursday, so that's next week's. We're yeah, not booked not gonna anywhere be, I'm not going to be there. Who should I bring? I don't know. Not Scotty. You can't. <laughs> right? <laughs> Scotty loves being on the show, but it's been a while. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't you know. You can find somebody. He's more grumpy than normal usually because of all the things happening in life. So it's, let's let's find someone a little bit more fun. Okay. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> what? In case what? Well, we don't want to bring it down. All know? right. All right. <laughs> Am I going to get in trouble for that? Yeah. You better delete all those, those things I just said about my gay boyfriend, Scotty Campbell. Uh, we already talked about Pizza Bruno. Usler, Craig Usler is building three new towers in Creative Village. A twelve, wow. a, right? A twelve-story apartment high-rise, a twelve-story office building, uh, and then a ten-story hotel. And he's and it's all estimated to cost about ninety million dollars. Wow, where at? Like where? I don't really you know? know. In Creative Village, Paramore, probably and where has Amway Arena was, somewhere around there. That's where Creative Village is. Yeah, it'll be on that property. He has a couple parcels. Why is that are it called open. Creative Village? Is that just the name? Because there's nothing really there that's that creative yet, right? Oh, they got EA Games. Well, that's there now, but they call it Creative Village before EA. Yeah, because he wants. So when he started this, there is a book that came out about the creative class, which is like a group of young movers and shakers, and you know, high tech people. They get paid a lot, like how they drive uh, healthy downtowns All and right. things. So he wanted to kind of attract those types of people to come live there and that was before like nona so i know like nona's like kind of the same thing that's a different but a larger scale but but you're gonna get a different group of people that want to live in lake nona compared to downtown orlando like people who live in yeah. lake nona are are families that have kids that want to go to those schools over there and work over there and have houses that are Thirty-five to 4,000 square feet. Well, that's the idea that they want for downtown Orlando eventually, but, right? But the houses are never going to be that big. Lake Eola, they will. They'll just be buying up the lots more. You know, like Lake Eola Heights, there's still a lot of single-family homes that can be knocked down. For for the the value of the properties downtown, Yeah, I, if you really wanted to live there, you know, Wintermere only has so much room. It's true. People will eventually... Depending but, on what but, it's like I downtown. Mean, I, I, but in Windermere, there are certain things that happen and don't happen in Windermere that do happen in downtown Orlando. Homeless people. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, things would have to change a little bit uh-huh. in order for people to want to have those high-quality homes to be so close to downtown. Yeah. Winter Park, for instance. There's parts of Winter Park that started out just like Lake Yola Heights. And now they've knocked down, you know, they'll buy two old properties and knock down I mean, down that happens in College and, Park. Every day that yeah. they buy houses like that. Well, and that's those are people who want to be close enough to Winter Park, but they can't afford Winter Park and College Park. You know, no, by comparison. we love College Park. We don't need Winter Park. 
I don't, don't need, even argue. You're, we don't you're need Winter Park. Really we don't need park. Winter Park. Are you really College Park? Are you no. like I'm in Fairview? I'm, uh, well, I'm in Crestwood Estates. Crestwood Estates. <laughs> and we're on the county, so technically I'm not in College Park. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But I'm close enough. I can spit and, and hit College Park. <laughs> Do you? Yes, all the time. <laughs> Actually, they're spitting Heard at here me. first. <laughs> No, no. Well, and then Matt Broff, when he owns Bungalow, or lives I mean, around the street. Is he in College Park? What's, yeah, but he's in that weird subdivision. What's I live closer to Edgewater than he does. Maybe not, but no, I live close. I live closer to the Publix than he does. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that how you measure yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. I could probably get to Pizza Bruno faster than he could. <laughs> are, are we measuring skyscrapers right <laughs> yeah. now? Is that uh, what we're doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Tavistock wants to add uh, 7,000 more homes, 1,400 wow. more hotel rooms, and 14.2 million square feet of commercial uses to what's in Lake Dona already. That just came out. Do they own all that land? or yeah, they do, do they have to work with the Mormons out there to get their, no, they their own, land? They okay. own all that all stuff. Right. Yeah, that's like where the cows are right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mormons own like millions of acres that They're way. They're selling property to the yeah. Mormons for yeah. the first time uh-huh. over there on the east side of the Econ. I, I should explain this if you don't know. Like the Mormon church owns a lot of land between like south of the beach line yeah. to, I don't know, Lake Okeechobee. <laughs> like, they own so much land, and it's not really developed. It's just all cows. We have friends of the show. Uh, what's his name? McKin- Dave McKinney. He's a friend of mine locally. Uh, he's generational Floridian. He hangs out with, like, the Stewarts and things, mm-hmm. you know, like Commissioner Stewart. He knows all those cats. Uh, they all kind of share some hunting cabins over there that they rent, but they're, they're located in that mormon property okay and i guess a lot of like wealthy floridians all go there to like it. get drunk and drive four wheelers and shoot boar and touch each other's butts <laughs> i believe it yeah it sounds amazing mm-hmm. joe you want to go you want to go yeah i want to go <laughs> I tell him every time I, every time he hangs out with bob snow you know who like built church street uh colonel uh joe kittinger who jumped out of space yeah right like Screw, can I, can screw I tell you something, these Brendan? Rich can I tell you something, Brendan? Who take rockets up there. He took a hot air balloon to jumped space out of it. and jumped out. Can I tell you something? If they invite you to that, they're taking you to hunt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brendan, come along to our hunting come trip. Like, but you know what? Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could get away. Do you think you can make it back to yeah. Orlando? All right. I think so. Do I have shoes? Because that would hurt. You can have shoes. Through. You can have shoes. Imagine yeah. going through the palmettos. Oh, you, you don't want to do that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta get get out of there. I'd be a little scared though. Um, you, <laughs> as yeah. you should be. I'd be, but could I bring my slingshot? Yes. that I just yeah, yeah, paid yeah. for yeah, and yeah. I've never used before. Uh-huh. Yeah, we gotta put that to use. Okay, I think I'd look good. I'd be like, uh, like that new Predator movie that just came out. Pre- you know, I haven't I'd seen that one yet. Put my blood on on my cheeks. Okay, like a football player, you mm-hmm. know, just get out there and like throw snakes at them and stuff. <laughs> Dress up like a like an alligator and just yeah. lay on the ground. Dangerous game, <laughs> isn't that what it's called? Uh, the, the, most, dangerous, the most dangerous game. Most de- most test test. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I could do it. Okay. Camp Pickle is coming to Orlando. Wait, so I, I read this online, and it's today. not a gay resort. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna turn into that though. Yeah. Where were you reading about it? Uh, OBJ, I think. I think that's right. Yeah. So Camp Pickle is a pickleball experience coming to Orlando, but it's like a resort. Where is so this? Did they say? No. Nobody said. I don't okay. understand. All right. They didn't even say they're still looking for a location. I thought that was interesting. They just kind of omitted the entire hint of a location. So they wanted to get publicity first. Oh, they paid for it. Do well, you? no. I just think they probably said we're gonna build a pickleball court. Resort. But when you ask, you'd say something in there like, I don't know where it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Something. I, I don't know. I uh, can't pickle. Pickleball themed. It's like a food court. No, food <laughs> hall. <laughs> and it's You're thinking a- the wrong kind of pickle court. <laughs> pickle <laughs> camp. You and show up. Where's all the pickles at? But you can what eat is this too? stupid game? No, you can eat too. <laughs> it's like a food hall with a bar and stuff, but then there's also going to be places to play pickleball. I've never played pickleball. Have you? I don't 100% understand what it is. It's I, just like it's tennis, tennis, right? But it's like shorter. shorter yeah, different. You I think a different people. paddle, different ball. Yeah. yeah, it's usually geared towards older folks, right? I think that's how it started, but it's the fastest growing sport in America. Okay, I, I don't know if I believe you that. You said that last time yeah, we talked about it. I don't know if I believe it. it, though. 
Well, we have a whole resort coming that's all about the pickle. I mean, if you got 100 people that play it and now you got 200, it doesn't mean it's a hugely popular sport. It makes sport. me think of Pickle Rick. Do you ever watch Rick yeah, and Morty? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I do, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Can we just have a whole show just where we talk about Pickle Rick? Sure. <laughs> Are you watching the new episodes of no, Rick and Morty? No, I haven't seen the new ones, no. Oh. I'll have to watch them. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I finished whatever was there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's new ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. With yeah. that, the Morty that went crazy, the bad Morty. Oh, no, I watched those ones. Yeah, and so this is the aftermath. I think I saw those, too. Oh, no, there's we'll more. You All would right. know. The All new right. episodes are amazing. All right. There's a new book out about Colonial Town and Next Door, the app. Do you ever go on Next Door? Next Door, no, because it's just a bunch of racists, usually. So racist. Yeah, yeah. It's like paranoid neighbors <laughs> and stuff. I'm a little paranoid myself. Well, it's, there's a difference between being paranoid and being yeah. like looking out for your neighborhood. I've broken all my window blinds because I'm always... <laughs> Pull under You're, that down lady. You're that lady. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Brandon, we got to go, actually. What? We, we got to wrap it up. Uh, okay. Well, tune in. I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Next week. I don't know. I only had three little beers, and I'm tired. All right. Well, go take a nap. <laughs> I got a hockey game tonight, so we got to get out of here. Thanks so much to Dead Words for hosting us. Uh, come out and support them for their Oktoberfest this weekend. It's one of the coolest looking breweries in town, yeah. and they make amazing food and drinks. It's right by Camping World Stadium. It's on Orange Blossom Trail. It's Lots fun. of parking. Yeah. yeah. Not cool spot. scary. Very cool. What do you think? There's ghosts here? Yeah. Okay. Halloween. All right. We'll see you guys next week.